Let's talk about how to troubleshoot some of the importing and how the data is represented. So maybe some of the information didn't come in, uh, maybe the LinkedIn was out of date, and you want to import your data again. There's a few ways you can do that. So you can go back over to the resume builder, and here I've made multiple copies of my resume. And this is important, because as I go to each one, you can see that all the data is still there. And if I make a new resume, Unlike a traditional document editor, it's not a blank document. It starts with your career history. Teal, the resume builder is about having a database of all your career information. So that's what it's always starting with. But say it's not right and you wanna start over. You come over to the menu and you're gonna import resume or LinkedIn. And if you click re-import, it's gonna append it. And if there's any differences whatsoever, it's gonna add additional job titles with potentially duplicate dates. So if you're gonna append, make sure that the names of the companies and the positions are exactly the same, right? And that could be a way to bulk append. But in this case, I'm gonna overwrite my resume. Now, we really wanna make sure that you understand what you're doing here because it is gonna wipe out all the versions of your resume that are using the same career history. So you're gonna to have to type delete all resumes, right? And that's gonna allow you to do that. And now you can start the process over. So in this case, I may have made some changes to my resume. I'm gonna bring those in and it's gonna now re-import and you'll see when the import process is finished, it will have flushed everything and I will be back to having one resume. And here we are. So, you know, that process could take anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds, depending on how the AI is doing and processing it. We just want to make sure everything falls into the right place. But now you can see I've got a fresh new resume uh, with all new content. And if I go back to my resume builder, you see I only have one resume. So you can do it from here, import resume, or you can do it from a particular resume, import resume. But again, it's gonna throw up some red flags and just make sure you wanna do that because when you re-import from scratch, it's gonna wipe out all your existing work. All right, that's how you can troubleshoot the importing. We'll wrap up there and move on to the next module.